Okay, so in this video we're going to show you how to refurb a 4700 slash CP4005 electronic transfer belt. So if you look at our other videos, you'll see where we showed you how to hack and reset the fuse on these so you can keep them going indefinitely. But over time, these do get worn or they do get some wear on them. You can see on the... On the uh, PCR roller here. You get some wear. You get some wear on this. Maybe get it at a lower angle so you can see the, the wear. That light Especially here. There we go. So if you've ever been in the toner remanufacturing world, you know that uh, most people use a new finish for kind of re, uh, rejuvenating their plastics and especially these PCR rollers. So that's kind of what we're going to do here. And what you want to do is just get a, use these Scott's rag in a box. You just want something that's nice and soft. And uh, get about that much on your rag. Like so. You just kind of Work it in this first area here on your PC or on your uh, belt, and you don't want to use a ton of pressure. Just get it on there. You can even put it on this. Just kind of work it in. Side. And you're going to see here right away, I'm gonna, actually I'm going to rub that a little bit more on this. On the PCR you can give it a little bit more pressure. Just kind of take that back and forth like that. Throw that aside. And then with a nice clean one. Kind of buff that out, just like you're doing a car. Get that nice and buff. So on this one, when you get the wax on there, um, you want to use a little bit more pressure. But you can already see how that's brought back the life to that PCR roller. If we just turn that a little bit, you can see that to that. And then, so when you're when you're doing the belt, you can you, you want to use a little bit more pressure on the belt. But just start, you know, just like a car, just start cleaning it up. Um, I use the circular motion. And depending on how what shape the belt is in, you know, you might need to do this a couple times. And it doesn't have to be perfect. All you're really doing is rejuvenating that this uh, this film. And you can see from just one, I mean, there's always going to have those lines in there, but you're kind of getting the debris and film off of it. So what you do next is you kind of just with your fingers, just kind of rotate this. And you can see, look at that right there. That should show up pretty good. Like this is way different. So. Um, and then you just keep repeating that. You may have to do it a couple times. Um, and we're going to stop the camera. I'm going to clean the rest of this up, and then we'll show you at the end kind of how it looks. But uh, this will, again, once you have done the reset, like if you look at our videos, this plate comes off, and there's a fuse in there to reset this for uh, resetting the counter on the printer. And then if you get to a point where this thing is, is because this will eventually potentially give you some image defect just because it gets so grungy, grungy and dirty. Um, this is the steps you want to take to get this thing cleaned back up and rejuve. So I'm going to clean the rest up and then I'll show you once we're done. So as you can see here, um, PCR is cleaned, the belt's cleaned up. Um, a lot of the 
debris that gets stuck to it is cleaned off. Like I said, it's never going to be perfect from the standpoint of how it would look brand new. But as long as there's no holes in these, um, these things will last and last and last forever. So if you're on a uh, managed care program where you're responsible for consumable items, depending on how your billing is, um, this is a uh, this is a way to clean these up and make them last even longer. Um, so we do it even for people um, that want to save money and they're on a different program. Um, we'll refurb this for them on site and charge them, you know, a certain amount of money to do that. Um, but this is the way you do it, and we're gonna go put her back in the machine and make sure she works. We just did a reset on the other one, so um, that's it.